What's going on guys, VZ Duels here, and today I have a pretty nice deck profile for you guys since I noticed you guys kind of like the math mech deck list that I posted. Um, and I feel like right now there's a lot of math mech profiles out there and things of course have changed. I figured I'd go for a deck that I've been playing and having a lot of fun with this format, and that is going to be the Sprite Tri Brigade deck. Um, I went to locals today, and I had pretty good success. Um, went uh, X1, so third place. Um, we basically ended the tournament with two undefeateds that drew against each other, so that's basically how I got my placement. But all in all, this deck performed exponentially well. Um, I really only have been losing to time with this deck is what I've been noticing. Um, but without further ado, I'll go ahead and just get into the build, starting with the main deck. Of course, we have our consistency engine of the three sprite blues, the three jets, and then we just want one red, one carrot. Honestly, we kind of want to see these in deck for the most part. We really don't care about them, um being facilitated into the combos that are to have them in graveyard as an elf target but um i can go into that a little bit later but that's it for the sprite main deck uh monsters then we go into the tri brigade package which is going to be three fractal at first i wanted to do two because it's like you kind of don't really want to use this card for plays but admittedly this card is a consistency card and it just gives you so much gas to get everything started. It's kind of a must-have um, three kit. <clears throat> this is the card to normal summon out of the tri brigades, if anything. So this is a key card. You must have this. It either has to be in hand, on field, or in graveyard. Uh, two Nerval. You don't want three. You don't want to see this in hand as often. If you do, you want to be able to special summon it by other means via um Fergeet or something. <laughs> so in two Norval, you want them. You don't want them to both go away, but you want to have two for follow up. Two Karaz because obviously two and special summons. So just a nice easy card to just get on board and again facilitate your sprite plays. So that's basically it for the Tri Brigade Monsters. And then our supporting cards. Three Nimble Beaver. This card is unbelievable. <clears throat> it's a level 2. And just as it benefits regular sprites, it benefits Tri Brigade even more because of Karaz. Or, uh, not Karaz. For Fergeet. Um, you have this in hand with any Tri Brigade, then you basically... Or, more particularly Kit and Nerval, then you're going to want to do this, go into your Ferrajit, and then special summon the Kit or Nerval, and then go into your Elf just right away. And then you get your searches and your plays, and just, you go crazy. These then end up being materials for your Banishes later on. This card is absolutely amazing for going either which way with your plays. Um, So then, that's basically it for the monsters. Um... The rest of the monsters is just like the counterpart. I put that the second part of the uh, deck, the main deck. So this is just all engine stuff. So then we have for our spells, three starter. Because one card combos, this thing just facilitates everything. One smashers because, you know, we want to get rid of problem cards in the game. And this one just gets rid of anything. Uh, consistency cards, two tanky. Uh, most people do run just these two, but I like to run the Foolish because just in case Fractal doesn't work out, you want another way to get something in the grave, get your kits in grave or whatever. Sometimes you just want to get a good target for elves on this thing will basically get that all started and set up. So, I do like running these. I am not dissatisfied running this much because basically once you get that Fractal or kit, get the Nerval, you have materials in grave... You have your tri brigades live, and you have your plays live. And then, of course, the one revolt, because this card is just broken. 
So that's the engine. So the countermeasures for other decks is going to be three Ash Blossom because good card. Um, I honestly am opting to maybe take one out because I'm tired of seeing multiple copies in hand. Luckily, since this particular build is running 41 cards, I haven't seen that as a problem. But if I go back to 40 cards, I would take this out. Just so that, that way I can avoid having to see multiple copies of this. That was one thing I had a problem with with Math Mech and just running three of these in general. I just don't like that you're restricted to only using one per turn versus cards like these next two. The 3 DD Crow and 2 Valor. So DD Crow is obviously a big card right now. Stops Math Mech's... Um, Super factorial to get the diameter, so it stops that, interrupts that, can interrupt their link plays. Uh, Valor, just overall a good card. Stop the uh, Kit Kalos, stop any of the sprite plays before they start really kicking off. And the best part about these is that they aren't limited to just once per turn. They are chainable back to back with each other, so if somebody were to called by one, you could chain the other and get the effect through. Not have to worry. That's exactly why I like these cards particularly more than like Ash Blossom um, Ghost Bell, Ghost Ogre etc. But of course those cards are still good. The one called by because you know hand traps and all their cards. And then three Infinite Imperm because this is a much better Veiler. You get to shut down something on your, uh, on your turn that your opponent sets up against you. That's why I like the 3 Imperm and the 2 Valor. 2 Valor is just kind of like backup because of how the current format is. Um, then we go into the extra deck. 2 Elf, because this card is just outstanding and broken. Just that you need any 2 and then another monster and you make it. So pretty much usually the end, um, you set up your board. Your next plays are basically going to be Revolt adding... Um, getting the nerve wall to search out a kit and then the kit will facilitate another play a link summon and then you could just overlay these two and then go into another uh go into Karaz out of the grave and then use that extend in and go for like an access code play with um of course i'll show you later but do meagle um so that's just it for the sprite elves just the two just one fair sheet you don't really need to. I kind of like the idea of having to, but in the end, you don't really need that. Um, one Bear Broom, because Revolt, and another level 2 target. Two Shireg, because this deck is Tri Brigade, and Revolt's a good target, and the effects to just Special Summon are good. So, two. I would like to run three if extra deck space allowed it, but... You kind of need to make the deck consistent. There are some flex spots I'm going to be talking about soon. But um, this is basically the runner-up support for Lynx. And that's going to be Pit Knight early. Um, Double Dragon Lords, Doom Eagle, Access Code, Appaloosa. Access Code, very easy if you can manage to keep your board to your opponent's turn. You usually end up with either the Pit Knight or the uh, Elf. A Shireg, and then some other monster, or you can even normal summon another monster. That's access code right there. And then if you're using Shireg, then it's going to be 6300, which is ridiculous. Um, Doom Eagle, it's just to help facilitate and go into access code uh, 5300. Um, Apple says if you got the Tri Brigade play and not the Sprite play, and you just do the basic um, Fair Sheet, Bear Broom, Tri Brigade. Like them all off and go into Appaloosa. That's usually the go-to for that. But usually what I notice is better is just to do Elf and then end with Pit Knight early instead. Um, this is really if you're going against really monster effect heavy decks that re require that monster effects go off out of hand and grave. Stuff that Pit Knight can't really stop. But um, I really saw this card. But... It's a nice option, but this is one of the flex spots. Uh, Doom Eagle, kind of the same thing. That's just to make access code easier, but there are other ways to go access code, so you don't need to really worry about that. Um, XYZs, I do two Gigantic Sprite, just because I always like having the option to go into a 3200 uh, beater beat stick. 
You select this one which facilitate your turn one plays. This one will be the follow up one. Then you can go into your Zeus, no problem. So down our Zeus. Or um, you can just get you out of tight situations just by itself. This card is honestly pretty good, but this all right here is a flex spot as well. I haven't really ever gotten Zeus today. Um, but then again, I literally only played against four Runic back to back to back. Um, I forgot what, I think the first one was just like a pure variant. The second one was like a uh, anti-meta with like uh, Inspector Broader. The third one was Sprite and then the fourth one was Sprite. Uh, my only loss was the third round and that was to time because he had the Crimson Resonator or whatever the Resonator that gains life points. He had all that and I had no interruptions. Had I had something I would have won but or we would have went into the draw but even then um, I basically played through everything that he had if we had more time after five minutes that we're supposed to be getting soon. Um, I may have actually won that and then I may have placed first. But unfortunately, that's not how it went down, so I can't say that that's what would have happened. Um, so that's the main and extra deck. So side deck, Panker Tops I feel is very essential just because uh, sprites they can't really do anything about this. Um, Lava Golem is just kind of currently just a tech in just because, I mean, the deck can special summon around because of Caress and Sprite Starter and all the sprites, no problem. But I don't like this. This is easily a flex spot. You could fit for anything else to stop monsters. That's the whole point of this, is to break a monster board. Um, hasn't really proved too well to me today. I only ever saw it once, but I only run one. So uh, Better options are out there, though. So whatever you feel is better than that, by all means. Uh, two Cosmic Cyclone, because Mystic Mine is real, because Runic is real. You want to get rid of the Field Spell. You want to get rid of any sort of Spell Trap problem. Um, you can even use this against Tier Element Traps. Uh, banish them. Negate to stop their effects, and they don't get their secondary effects. Uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, just, of course, clear back, bro. Simple as that. Stops Runics completely. Uh, Dark Roll no more, because Monster Boards. Simple as that. Then this I didn't like too much evenly hasn't really ever proven its worth to me So this is another flex spot out of the side. Um, I just did this because it's like I want mass removal uh, th That one card that they keep is all the difference that they really need so it's not really an advised card to have uh, 2d barrier this is very good against tear elements and branded's and anything that's XYZ whatever this deck doesn't worry about the XYZ plays as much, so you can just go crazy and stop the XYZ plays. This is more of a link orientated deck, so this is on it's completely unaffected by this. Um, and then the three anti spell because Runic sucks and Dark Ruler no more sucks, and any and all spells in this game sucks. And if you play this, then you're basically guaranteed to at least keep your board, keep all your negates, everything alive that you establish, and then just basically pretty much solidify the game again played against four runics so when i put this in it's just basically an auto win because i can't do anything um it carried in one of my games where i was going second in the second game and i decided to side in because it's like that deck is slow they don't battle or anything so play this against runic and they're they're basically done <sighs> but other than that this deck is absolutely really fun to play like i said um i don't know if i said it is i don't really like the frog variant of sprite it's just so linear and boring and just overly played uh and i love tri brigade to death so it's like i really wanted to play this variant and honestly it is a really good variant it's proven itself to be very viable the routes of play that you have for this deck is absolutely amazing you have m many different things to do like I said, these are flex spots right here. You can get more link monsters that can do a lot more. Fit in a third omen for the grind. Fit in a mascarina, uh, mas or mannequin cat. I've been wanting to try to play that, but admittedly, when it comes down to just maintaining twos, this gigantic and the elf are like the MVPs for tribe gaze right now. 
They just help you facilitate plays. But I think the Elf is the best support that uh, Tri Brigade basically ever got <laughs> recently. Um, but yeah, that's the deck profile. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them. Or questions or comments, leave them as a comment, and I might address it uh, and maybe give you a proper answer. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like and then, like I said, comment any concerns, questions, and I'll try to answer them as they come along. This is VZ Duelist signing off. Thanks for watching.